Kill it with fire. Please! Why does it exist? Lionsgate has reportedly started making plans to give Stephanie Mayer's Twilight series a television adaptation slash reboot with Stephanie Mayer on board. Why? Because J.K. Rowling is doing that with Harry Potter? That's probably the reason. No, just no. No, 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 and no with a side of no. And also, did I mention no? You may have... Mentioned it a couple times. No! No, 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 no! So, if people don't realize why uh, Raven doesn't like this, it's because they made a mockery of vampires in the Twilight genre, at least when when you look, when you ask Raven. Uh, she believes they've done a couple things that in this saga that she didn't like and changes they made, and that's why she has such a strong opinion, but I'll let her kind of fill in exactly what it is she doesn't like about it. Oh, trust me, I am not the only one with this opinion. Just from that picture alone, he is sparkly! Vampires do not sparkle in the sunlight. They turn to ash. He is not a vampire, he is a fairy. And did you know that they, the Twilight vampires have no fangs? Did you know that? They just have flat teeth, like any human. So how do you discern them from humans? Besides the fact that, that they don't breathe. They sparkle. That's how you determine. You just throw them outside and you go, are you sparkly? Okay. So gay! Yeah, I'm not a fan of Twilight either. I haven't really read many of the books and I haven't really watched any of the movies. It was just not my thing. Honestly, I cannot believe. I am ashamed of my tween self for enjoying the first movie when I did. I am so ashamed that I actually watched it. <laughs> we all make bad decisions and then we learn from them. <laughs> make it go away. It's gone. It's gone. No, it's not. It's still there on the screen. He's being torched with fire, though, so isn't that a good thing? Just imagine him slowly roasting to death. Darling, I need liquid nitrogen to completely burn him to a crisp. No, you don't understand. We're... we're correcting nature because if he's in the sun he should be burning alive and turning to ash right so he's sparkling and we're just like nope it's time to turn you to ash like nature intended die no back you why can't i why can't i destroy him die how could you stephanie mayer curse you anyway <laughs> um this should be interesting to see. I would the thing I'm actually interested about, and I'll explain why, is because we've gotten to this trend where people need to be inclusive and diverse. And so I'm very curious how they would change this and what they would do about casting, because it would be very, very funny, and I'm saying this very loosely, to see a sparkly black vampire. They already did that in the first movie. He has dreadlocks. I could have lived my entire life without knowing that and been a happy person. And the werewolves are Native Americans. Anyway. They're not real werewolves anyway. He imprints on a baby. Okay. A CGI baby at that. They couldn't even get a real baby for the movie. What the hell? God, it's awful. It's an abomination and, you sh and it should not exist. There, I said it. Oh. Okay, so we're going to move on before, um... Fine, yeah, let's move on before I really lose my temper. Or you spontaneously combust. I would do that certainly better than whatever the hell that is. You mean you wouldn't sparkle? Hell no, I hate sparkly things. Especially glitter. Oh my god, glitter is evil. And sequins. <laughs> and rhinestones. Ugh. God, no. Anyway. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> 